My men are after the gateway room. Tell me when you're there as well. We have to time this right. You got it, Miguel. <laughs> oh, how nice. You and your counterpart are on a first-name basis now. It's good to know you've bonded. Who are you? I'm the CEO of Alchemax. The real question is, who are you, old friend? Old friend? So this is where you make the big reveal, and I say, holy cow, Norman Osborn, or the Kingpin, Jonah Jameson. Come on, please be Jameson. <sighs> All of them long dead, I fear. Too bad they didn't have access to the anti-aging drug we developed. <laughs> it does wonders for you. And I do mean you. No, it, it can't be. Can't be, yes. Why do people always say that? Good thing your future counterpart saved us, eh? Otherwise, we couldn't be this. I... I become the evil mastermind? Oh, don't be melodramatic. With great power comes great responsibility and great opportunity. And the only way to live up to all that responsibility is to use every opportunity to get all the power. I learned that the day I lost everyone I loved and didn't have the power to stop it. What do you mean, everyone? You'll find out. Except once I've fixed reality, you actually won't find out. Consider yourself lucky. Peter, it's up and running, but it's not tremendously stable. Where are you? I think, I think I'm in hell. The CEO, it's me. What? That's, that's insane. How can that be? Holy shock! Peter, now, move, move! Let me explain it all to you. Explain it to my rapidly retreating backside. The quantum feedback could reverse the time storm. Why reverse it, Miguel, when we can use it? You know who I am. Of course. He knows, so I know. Miguel, you're on the wrong side of this. I'm not the villain here. I'm the guy who's trying to make everything right. Don't you get it? Apparently I don't. When the storm is fully unleashed, I'm going to harness the quantum energy. It will give me complete control over the time stream. What, are you trying to play God? The first creation of the universe wasn't bad. For a first draft. I'm just going to provide a much needed rewrite. I can make up for my original sin by saving Uncle Ben. Not to mention Gwen Stacy, her dad, countless others. What kind of villain fixes it so that everyone gets to live happily ever after? You're talking about power no human should have. You'll end up destroying yourself, but not before you've annihilated everything else. Well then, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. This discussion is over. It's over when I say it's over! I really didn't want it to come to this. I guess it was inevitable, though. I mean, talk about your boss fights, right? Parker, you used to be the greatest of them all. <laughs> I still am, Sport. The one, the only Spider-Man. Except no substitutes. You have to listen to reason. Oh, I really don't. That's one of the joys of being in charge. So if you want to make this personal, you can join me in the gateway room. I believe I had an appointment. Luckily, I cleared my schedule for you. I'm sorry it's come to this, but obviously you're part of the problem, not the solution. I was watching the space-time continuum collapse. Any kind of solution? Idiot. I'm absorbing all the quantum particles being unleashed. I'll reshape the timeline any way I wish long before it collapses. Think of it as playing dice with the universe. Einstein would have approved. Einstein's not here, so I guess I'll have to do. <laughs> Peter! Looks like your future self took a page from Iron Man's old playbook. I'm squaring off against some kind of iron spider outfit. That sounds like a crutch to me. No. If you really had confidence in his own speed and agility, you wouldn't be making with the heavy metal. No. No. At least make it a challenge. Just full of surprises. He doesn't know about atrocity. I can use that, especially the anti-venom part. I, I don't understand this. How are those things draining my powers? How? As quickly as possible. That's how. I'm the one and only. I'm losing my patience. Why are you on the wrong side?
taught you how to fight. Okay, not bad. Tried to warn you, Miguel. I really did. You've no one to blame but yourself. 
Maybe the most merciful thing to do is just wipe you out of existence entirely! Save us both!